This is Retina Imaging Channel, Autofluorescence in Diabetic Macular Edema. Diagnosis and Management of Diabetic Macular Edema or DME is based on fundus photography, fluorescent angiography, OCT, OCTA. Does autofluorescence have any role in diabetic retinopathy? Is there any specific autofluorescence sign in diabetic retinopathy? One may wonder that autofluorescence is a feature of lipofusion distribution in fundus and diabetic retinopathy is a retinal vascular disease then how can diabetic eyes have anything to do with the lipofusion based autofluorescence? If those are the thoughts in your mind, then watch this short video to know how autofluorescence is affected in diabetic eye. Autofluorescence in diabetic eye is studied mainly at fovea. We know that the lipofusion is byproduct of photoreceptor degeneration. However, lipofusion is also a peroxidation product of lipid and protein. Microglial activation which happens in diabetic retinopathy causes increased peroxidation of lipid and protein leading to accumulation of lipofusion and hence the hyperautofluorescence. This lipofusion is called microglial lipofusion. Apart from this, there is another theory called mechanical theory of hyperautofluorescence in diabetic retinopathy. The cysts in cystoid macular edema are located in the outer plexiform and inner nuclear layers. They are believed to displace the luteal pigment xanthophyll away from the fovea unmasking the foveal autofluorescence which is normally hypoautofluorescent. This hypothesis explains the hyperautofluorescence in DME which has cystoid pattern at fovea and is called cystoid increased fundus autofluorescence or cystoid IFAF. Now we will see some images. We see orange red hue at the fovea in the multicolor image on the left side which is due to CME and the same can be seen on OCT on the right side. Let's look at the autofluorescence pattern at fovea. There is petaloid pattern of hyperautofluorescence at fovea which is called cystoid increased autofluorescence. The cystoid pattern corresponds to the cysts on OCT. In the next set of images too, we can see the cystoid IFF or cystoid increased autofluorescence at the fovea which is corresponding to the cysts noted on the OCT. The increase in the autofluorescence at fovea may not have a petaloid appearance and there can be a spot increase or spot hyperautofluorescence at fovea 2 which is called spot IFF. There can also be decreased autofluorescence signals at fovea. It happens if there is a big hard exudate clump at fovea or there are degenerative changes. The autofluorescence pattern can be normal if there is no diabetic maculopathy. So now what is the clinical significance of this autofluorescence pattern in diabetic maculoedema? The changes in the autofluorescence in the DME is permanent. That means if there is increased cystoid autofluorescence at fovea, it is permanent, it is going to stay and it, it stays back even if the macular edema or CM resolves. It means that increased cystoid autofluorescence signifies current or past cystic changes. So even if the OCT is normal now, if the patient's fovea is having cystoid IFF, that means the patient had CMA in past. As this is a permanent change, it cannot be a sign of treatment response. However, it does give an idea about the prognosis. There are some references for further reading. If you like this video, then don't forget to press the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.